Now a legendary Chicago steakhouse becomes a crime scene. Police say an armed robbery turned violent on the Mag Mile. CBS 2's Mike Puginelli joins us live outside Lowry's Prime Rib with more. Hi, Mike. Hi, this restaurant normally closes at 8 o'clock on a Sunday, but police say it was nearly four hours after that when an armed robber entered the business. Some employees were able to hide in the basement. Others were unable to get away. We're getting one call for a person to 100 East Ontario. That victim described on the police radio is seen here grimacing in pain outside Lowry's Steakhouse. He's then put on a stretcher, loaded into an ambulance, and raced to a hospital. One uh, gunshot wound to the right forearm. He's in stable condition. Other victims of the after hours robbery are then walked out of the famed eatery with their hands behind their backs. That's because police say the robber restrained his victims in a locker room before stealing their cell phones. At least one of the employees appeared to be seriously injured. We have a somebody who appeared to be a cook that was beaten up pretty severely. Police say the employee who was shot was hit when he interrupted the robbery. Julio Ayala was working nearby and saw the commotion just steps from Michigan Avenue. It is pretty surprising, yeah, because we always try to be careful when we're around here and pay attention to all our surroundings around here. So it is pretty surprising to see that. A suspect was busted near Chicago and State not long after the robbery. And according to police radio reports, he was identified almost immediately. Same offender of, uh, he's an ex employee here. He shot uh, one person in here. A gun was recovered from a garbage can near Superior, which police quickly surrounded and cordoned off. Make sure you hold on to that thing. Do not touch the weapon. Ayala says the Magmile shooting has shaken his sense of security. I'm nervous to make sure, you know, we got to make sure our doors are locked and make sure that, you know, all of our building is secure throughout the nights. So far, the suspect in this case has not been charged. The man who was shot is in stable condition. There's no word on the condition of the other victims. Reporting live off the Magmile, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron. All right, Mike, thank you.